What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? You see the f pretty face. It's Mr. Warmack, and I'm definitely in the Bill D. Young. Now, as you can tell, this is another podcast. I'm going to start doing more of these. People request them. And today, I brought another friend of mine. Here he goes. Uh, Mr. Good Luck Jonathan, President of Nigeria. Now, we're, we're, conf we're confused as why doesn't anybody want this position that's coming up that this guy just recently uh, retired from? And you're going to see him in two, three, one. Look, everybody, it's, it's John Boehner. And John Boehner recently retired or left his position of Speaker of the House. And he was uh, he, he a Speaker of the House. But the problem with the Republican Party is nobody wants the position. As of right now, uh, he had he had two guys. The successor didn't want it. The, the, he was the whip. He didn't want it. Well, they said he was messing up anyway, his his job anyway. And now the guy that's, that, that that they're coming to agree upon is uh, Paul Ryan. Now Paul Ryan's stuck between a, a rock and a hard place. Paul Ryan wants to take it. I I feel out of, if he does take it, he'll take it out of a sense of duty to the party. Well, the problem with the Republican Party is this. Both parties, imagine two cars going into a wall. The Democrats are going to a wall 100 miles an hour, and the Republicans are going into 70 miles an hour. But the difference is, is the Democrats are driving, and the Republicans don't, aren't, don't have anybody behind the wheel. Because nobody wants to be behind the wheel right now. Because there's too much division, too many little caucuses within a Republican Party, that you know that want to be heard, and if you don't do their demands, then they won't support you. Now, I'm not talking. I want to the only reason I compare the Democrats because the Democratic Party, even though they're a hodgepodge of, they don't know what the hell they're doing. But they're organized, and they don't know what the hell they're doing. The Republicans aren't organized, and they don't know what they're doing. Meaning, Ryan could right Ryan could fix this situation. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. He can either do one or two things. He can ride this out and fix the situation, or he can just be the, the caretaker to the next player comes in. But given his star power in Congress, so he's a young guy trying to go up, I think he's going to make waves. If he takes this position. Like I said, don't get me don't give me the lie and say I said that he took the position. Because right now, this is a fluid situation right now. Nobody wants to sit in the Republican Party there's, there's no, it's a bit chaos, and there's no control, because because everybody in the Republican Party has a cater to their caucus, or you like, don't forget, you got the Tea Party, you got the Koch Brothers, you got the Gun NRA, you got other other factions within the Republican Party that split her off, and now you got to satisfy each one of those parties before you get the full support of the Republican Party. And that's the problem with the Republicans. With the Democrats, don't take anybody. They're, they don't care. They don't care if you rob, rape, or kill. They'll take you. As long as you can vote for them. But not a lot of the Republicans. The Republicans right now is just a, a fractured and, spl and splintered group. And I hope, I mean, and, and if, if Paul Ryan does take it, which I, I think would be, would be good for the party, if Paul Ryan did take the job, if Paul Ryan took it, I think he could lead the people because I think he has enough credibility, even in his young, his young age, for Congress-wise. I think he has enough credibility where he could pull the Republicans together and say, "Hey, look, it's time just to cut all this madness and let's just put on the agenda." Because look, how are you gonna have a, a fractured, uh, fractured party? Say, say you get a, a Republican in presidency, and then, then you're gonna have he's gonna fight with the Senate. And I mean, with the House. I mean, it's going to be like when, when Obama had the control of the House and the Senate, he couldn't do nothing. It's just it's going to be one big chaotic mess after another. And I just, I just thought I'd let you know that we're going to stay tuned and watch for this. So everybody have a good time because this, this is going to be real funny. It's like the, it's like the, the gang who can't shoot straight versus the gang who's just shooting off and they don't know what to shoot. So all right, here we go. Peace. I'm out of here. Good luck and good night.